information this morning on the political future of Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. That's right. She's a rising star in the political world. So what's next for her? Joining us over Skype is CivilBeat.com reporter Chad Blair. Good morning, Chad. Actually, I'm not joining you over Skype this morning. Unfortunately, their Skype is down, but you can hear me okay, right, Jill and Mahale? Oh, we can hear you fine. Oh, too bad we can't see you, Chad, but that's okay. I just think you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get uh, to Tulsi, the it gal in the uh, in Congress. Uh, apparently, she's going to stay a representative. Yeah, now mind you, Tulsi Gabbard never said that she was going to run for the Senate, uh, although she did apply for the job when Senator Noy passed away. But we've taken a look at her quarterly fundraising numbers for her house seat. It's $150,000. That's a decent amount. But only if you're planning on staying in the U.S. House. If you're going to run for the Senate, you're going to need a whole lot more money. Uh, both Brian Schatz, the Senate incumbent, and Colleen Hanabusa, uh, the challenger who holds the other House seat, raised much more money than Tulsi. Uh, we talked to several national experts uh, uh, on the mainland who said Tulsi Gabbard's going to probably wait and see uh, for another chance to run for the Senate at a later time. Yeah, get some experience first before jumping to the next step. But exactly. uh, definitely a lot of intrigue over Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. Um, what about the story about Brian K. Alena? You know, everyone knows him as a big wave writer. He right. does TV commercials and movies and that sort of thing. But now he's a businessman with a big <laughs> wave company? I know, this is pretty amazing. It's called Honokea Surf Parks, and, and K. Alena has secured the rights an engineering technology that generates waves. It comes from Spain. It's called Wave Garden. It makes tube waves that peel for like 900 feet or more. They don't lose power. They don't lose shape. These surf parks would have a lagoon and, and different levels of waves, you know, some that would be for amateurs, some for professionals and whatnot. Whether that would really play here very well or we have surf all the time, I don't know. But uh, clearly, Brian Kailana is looking at a, a new opportunity still in the surf world. It well, looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, you know you've know, done big time when you can make your own waves, uh -huh. when you can start creating <laughs> your own waves. So to speak. Good job there. Make your own waves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I know that there's also another story about a move to give unpopular politicians the big old boot. Yeah, that's right. And, and this is on our website, civilbeat.com. There's a petition circulating. A lot of folks throughout the islands, over 500 right now, signing a petition. They want the legislature to put a question before voters to amend the Constitution. That would allow for recall. Hawaii does not have a procedure to recall or fire, basically, politicians it does not like. About 24 states, or about 20 states do. California is one of those. So we'll see whether that happens or not. I can tell you this, so far legislators have been warm, rather cold to the idea. They have, they have killed previous legislation to ask for a recall of policy. Well, no surprise on that one. Chad Blair, it's great to talk to you this morning. Hope to see you next week. Hope to visually see you exactly <laughs> next week. Thank you so much, Jill and Mejia. Thanks. And you can always see the complete stories that we've just discussed on CivilBeat.com. Well, Queen Elizabeth has given the royal stamp of approval to allow same-sex marriage in England.